Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station. We bring the news to you. And today the relay station is our camper. And I'm trying to figure out where's the best place in this small space for me to make videos if I need to make them here. So right now I'm standing by the dinette. Here's the bench, back of the bench. The dinette table's in front of me. The kitchen's behind me. The bedroom's in this way in front of me. The bathroom is right over here. So anyway, I wanted to make a correction. Yesterday I posted a video of some wonderful, wonderful uh, people that I follow and I follow their ministry. And I did use a word in my post that brought exception to some people. And I should not have put that word in my post because the video was about new age practices that a lot of people have found themselves tied into and then have physical issues because of them. And they'll go to the prayer deliverance minister and once you know that's exposed, then the things can be prayed over and deliverance can happen. And in one of those stories, one of the people mentioned a counseling session or a prayer session that they had had with someone with the person had actually had Reiki done on them. So the video was about Reiki and yoga being new age practices, which I do believe that they are. Now there's nothing wrong with stretching. You know, you, you just don't want to associate it with the origins of yoga anyway and i'm not even going to go into that because that's a whole nother video reiki is a whole nother video as well and that is energy work which i would be highly suspect of if someone wanted to do energy work on me or on any or my loved ones or whatever but along with that i mentioned the word myofascial fascial myofascial i know i'm not saying that right i'm so sorry um therapy which is I wasn't sure what that was and I should have looked that up before I posted that word on my post um, because it, it did bring out some folks that wanted to correct me and I appreciate that. They're, they're friends that I have and they showed me what this really was and they a couple sent videos, you know, which was great. That was fine. But I wanted to make the correction and I wanted to make it known that the reason I mentioned that word was because it was mentioned in conjunction with this person who had Reiki done on them and they needed deliverance. And the point I want to make is sometimes we, we understand that yes, our body needs healing. If you break your leg, you go to a person that can set your bones. They're going to touch you. If you have another issue, you may go to the doctor or you may go to someone who's going to touch your body. And I think as Christians, we need to be really careful about who we allow to touch our body simply because of spiritual transference. And I know that's a whole nother subject as well. I'm going to stick to this subject just to keep this simple and keep this short. I should not have used that word without knowing exactly what it was. But that word and that practice is used in conjunction with energy work. So that was the reason that person brought it up. That was the reason that they mentioned it. And I wasn't aware of it. So that was my bad. I should have listened um, to God. <laughs> I should have not actually just not posted that word because the video is awesome and i may put it back up because it's wonderful um the ministry that i listen to they they are awesome with um spiritual warfare teaching awesome knowledge about spiritual warfare so anyway i wanted to make that clear and i appreciate my friends that corrected me and i do not believe that practice is evil in and of itself you want to make sure that whoever is touching your body, especially specifically, you know, I'm going to touch this area of your body. I'm going to do something. I'm going to manipulate it. Like I said, you would have your bone set by a doctor or you might go to, you know, massage therapist and have your shoulders loosened or whatever. I mean, how many of us have not been to someone to have that done? I have, I have an excellent massage person. Um, I have an excellent chiropractor. I've been to the chiropractor many times. That's another area that you need to just really check it out. You don't need to check out so much what they're doing. Hopefully you've already done that because that's why you're going. But you want to check out who they are and what they stand for and where they are spiritually. And if they are not 
following the Lord Jesus Christ, if they have not walked through the Jesus door and are doing things according to the scripture and helping you according to their desire to um, bring healing to, to your body, then you need to really be careful. And that is the point I want to make. Number one, the point that I really need to make is I, I should have looked that up first before I mentioned it because I really quickly got schooled about that, which is fine. I need to be teachable. I need to be a correctable. We all do. So I was corrected in that. And then the point that we were making was that so many things infiltrate the church. So many things infiltrate our lives that come from the dark side and they look really good. I mean, think about the Garden of Eden. What, you know, and how Eve was manipula manipulated by what was said to her. She was in the garden looking and admiring that beautiful fruit. She wasn't going to eat the fruit. She loved what it looked like. The Bible says it was, it was good to, it was easy on the eyes, basically. It was pretty or whatever. And that's when she was enticed by that. So that's why, you know, my husband kids around, he says, Mate, watch out for the shiny things because they're going to pull you in. But anyway, my point is I should have looked that word up and I appreciate my friends that told me about it. And I guess that's all I'm going to say about that. That practice in and of itself is fine. It's correcting your, your body. And, and um, I'm glad, you know, I found out about that. However, it was used in conjunction conjunction with something that wasn't godly. So that's the correction I want to make. And I hope it helps. And I hope I'm clear on what I'm saying. But we just want to make sure, you know, that we are doing things according to the word of God. And if we're going to go see someone, a practitioner of whatever it is, I mean, I, it could be anything. It could be anything with somebody's in your space where they're in your area and they're touching your body with their body, please be careful. And that's, you know, that's why there's so much in the Bible about, you know, sexual sin, because once that line is crossed, you've opened the door to allow whatever demonic spirit is on that person to enter your body as well. And sometimes they'd rather be in your body than the other person's body and they'll hop over there and they'll just bring friends. So we want to be really careful. If you're going to a practitioner, you know, I don't care. If you're looking into this kind of thing, make sure the person you're studying from, whether it's it's um, massage therapy or anything. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as to, you know, I don't do the crystal thing. I don't do the breath work. Um, I don't do the trips to heaven. That, that stuff, in my opinion, well, take us to, down a road we don't need to go down. So we need to stay firm in the Bible. Even just as a quick example, in the book of First, Tim, First Timothy, Timothy is being educated by Paul. And this is in chapter 5. And he's learning about how to um, handle or take care of the leadership of the church. This is what you do and this is what you don't do. And this is, you know the best way to do it. And he's being taught, he's being educated because he's going to have this position of being, you know, taking care of these people. And it, and it says in verse 22 that he is not to lay hands on anyone suddenly. Now that's not the same kind of laying on hands that I'm talking about as far as going to the doctor or a massage therapist or a chiropractor. It's not talking about that, but in general, he's being told you pick those folks to, help take care of this fellowship with very wisely. And when they laid hands on someone that would install them into that elder position. And he's being told, don't do that quickly. Don't lay hands on them and just say, Oh, you're a good guy. You're going to, you're going to do this. You're a good one. You're going to do that. No, he's saying, Paul is saying to Timothy, you need to know these people. You need to know where they're coming from. You need to know what their walk with the Lord looks like. And that's what a good lesson for us to to take as a takeaway you know for us too because we're living in a world where the enemy is so subtle and so sleek and so shiny and so pretty and so ooh, i want to do that no i want to hurt this was good i want to do that we need to do our homework so that's all i guess i'm going to say about that um this is linda with the life station express the relay station if you want to talk about that um with me you know 
just go ahead and drop something in the comments. I'll probably post this on my Facebook personal page and my YouTube channel. And that, that's it because that's where I had that other video. And I will say again, the ministry that I watch, um, the name of their ministry is Through the Black, headed up by Thomas Dunn. You can find him on throughtheblack.com or on YouTube, um, Through the Black. And I'm, I'm telling you, excellent, excellent teaching. I would never, you know, say anything other than that. My experience is there's excellent teaching and the mentor that he had who's since passed away was an excellent teacher so back to the camper i got my um i think i showed you in my last video the cart i got to put in the shower that i'm going to use for our toiletries and things i also got the other cart i was talking about i went back and bought that from michael's and put it together and it has 10 drawers in it and i'm going to bring that out here and put my beads and my my findings and everything for my jewelry and sit here in the sunshine because it's awesome sunshine comes in this place really nicely i can see really well i'm going to do some jewelry and if you want to look at my jewelry you know connect with me about that here's a little bracelet that i've made it's just an elastic um bracelet that i it's it's all one piece well i'll show you it's all one piece and i just wrap it around my wrist and i have them in different colors i have them in different sizes because you know i've got this skinny wrist but other people's wrists are a little bit bigger than mine it's got this little dangle on it little red heart but i just wrap it around my wrist and it looks like three little bracelets you know and uh, there you go so anyway i think that's all i had to say today again this is linda with the life station express the relay station we bring the news to you and that's the news for today thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you soon Bye.